Hey programmers, today we're going to finish up this adjust hour screen and I had to do the work and now I'll tell you about it because there was quite a bit of debugging and it was quite a bit of um, work involved or typing and figuring stuff out so there was just really no way to just do it on the fly on the thing on the video but anyway the first thing we did we worked on finishing up this um, editing and um, I, you know I went ahead and did a little bit more I took out that one second return where if the C dot X is less than one because I thought well it's not gonna do anything if it's less than one and so we validated for the first field it's got to be an I or an O um, the second field that's uh, for the hours I made it between 0 and 24 and that's the validating for that and for the third one that's the, the minutes made it from 0 to 60 um, the fifth one that's a date we validated the date we'd done that the other day uh, six and seven are both logical fields so we made those uh, true they had to equal true or false and I made them you know two upper so if you type lowercase it'll still be right number eight is the type and I added the regular ones like regular sick holiday vacation and personal and that other screen I added personal to it too because every time I tried to add a personal day it gave me an error and it, that is a valid uh, type anyway I had to create this um, method called get seconds because we want to convert the hours and minutes to the seconds and here's the code for that if you're interested in it you can put the um, video on extra large and then you can see it and for then if you recall on this data grid on the events if it'll come up oh, we had um, sell and edit and so that's what we was really working on today okay so and let's go up here I filled that in and here's some stuff I can delete I was having problems with the date um, but anyway so here's the the method for data grid view cell and edit so we decided what our point was and we created a variable which field and initialized it to spaces and we've got the current seg that's number zero of that row and we get the current value which is the value that's in the um, that's in the field and we change it to upper and uh, I created a date time now which I don't need now I was making it harder than it really was and uh, so we use the switch cut that out to um, decide which which uh, column we was and so if it's one we said which field was in and out and then we had to put um, quotes around the current value and uh, for if the was two or three we had to run over here and do this uh, get seconds routine and we decided that's what the current value was and then we redisplayed the seconds in field four or in column four and if it was five that's the date that's the one that I was having problems with but it really wasn't near as hard as I was making it the big problem was I had not put quotes around it so that was what was the big problem um, and then these are basically just the database fields that match um, the columns and so when we decide the field name and what the value is then we go down here and say update this seg and we you know use our PREID text box 3 and then we convert the week to an integer and then we got the current seg which we got up top here and um, we got the value and we update it and it's I've tested every field and it updates okay and um, another thing on the click we have a click up here which I'm going to delete those comments out we decided on the click event we're getting rid of all that other stuff because we're getting rid of the boxes um, but go ahead and get the current say because you're going to need it for delete and um, anyway so and if you recall I had all these a group box and text boxes here delete those out and uh, on the error messages 
uh, the whole methods there's nothing but that text box go ahead and delete that and then change on the delete record uh, it did have a text box field in there change that to current sag and anyway so let's run I'll show you how it works of course you should know it's just editing uh, but um, for big thing we had was the the not a one of course this is today's and I've already been working on records and like this date was boy that thing was giving me a terrible time but anyway he's working now uh oh t2-17 Oh, one, oh. Okay, now let's, um, we can change this to, if we'll give it something invalid. Try to get out, it's not going to let us. So, we'll give it back to an O. And the hours, we'll give him, we'll give him more hours. We'll say seven. Clock out at 1700 or 17. Um, 100, that's good. And clocked in at nine, so... And so let's um, let's refresh this. Should refresh the hours, and it did, and it changed them the way they were supposed to be. So anyway, this is all for today, and we'll start working on something else next time.